Hello again, we are going to now look at another pulley system, uh, another system called the Atwood machine. In this case, we are going to have one, two, three objects, uh, an ideal pulley, and one string here connecting M1 and M2, and another string here connecting M2 and M3. Also, the given condition is that M2 plus M3, these two masses given added together, should be greater than M1. Because M2 plus M3 is greater than M1, we know for sure that this whole system will accelerate uh, clockwise, and we are going to show that with this big arrow, and that must also tell me the positive direction for this whole system when I consider the forces. So let's go ahead and do the free body diagram for this Atwood machine. And we are going to start with M1. So forces acting on M1 will be M1G. It's going to be quite small, quite short in magnitude, uh, because M1 is the smallest mass. Uh, when compared to M2 plus M3. So I'm just going to draw a little bit of a force over here in black from the center of gravity. There we go. Label that M1G. Then we are going to have tension acting upon this object. Now this is going to be tension in this string. There will be another tension in this string. So tension is always a pull on the object. Let's go ahead and draw it upwards here as pulling on the object along the string and let's call that T1 because again there will be two tensions in this problem one tension in this string and another tension in this string so we are finished with M1 let's move on to M3 and then we're going to come back to M2 so M3 we're going to have M3G vertically downwards let's go ahead and put that in here M3G. Then we are also going to have tension because there is a piece of string connecting M2 and M3 and that tension is going to be on the string upward here and it will have to be different from this tension because this string is different from that string. So therefore this is going to be a T2. Uh, moving to M2 here we are going to have the force of gravity we are going to have T1 in that direction, but we are also going to have T2 in this direction because M2 is pulled by this string upward and by this string downward. So let's start with M2G along the string downward. There we go. M2G. And then there will be two tensions. Those two tensions will have to have the same exact magnitudes as the ones I already have here. So T1 in this direction must be exactly the same as this one. There we go. The length I have there, uh, 5 centimeters. I'm going to have the exact same 5 centimeters here. Going upwards. Let's call that also T1 is the same one. And then T2 that I have over here, quite a small T2 I have here, only three centimeters, will also have to act upon this object downwards because it's a pull due to this string. So using the same color here, I'm gonna draw right next to M to G another force from the center of gravity that's exactly as long as this one, which was again three centimeters let's have three centimeters here too which we do and that's going to be t2 so now we have all forces drawn on all three objects let's go ahead and do a magnitude check we know that the forces on each of the three objects must be unbalanced in the favor of for this one t1 for these two in the favor of the forces going downwards because Again, M2 plus M3 is greater than M1, so this whole system must accelerate this way. So let's start with M1. T1 is 5 centimeters, M1G is 3.5 centimeters, so T1 is greater than M1G. We're good there. Let's move on to this one over here. T1, we just said it's 5 centimeters, but downwards we have M2G that is... 
5 centimeters as well, and we also have T2 going downward, which is 3. 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 is greater than 5, so magnitude check on this one is also correct in the favor of the forces going this way because of the way the system accelerates. Now for this one, we only have one force of gravity downwards, that's 10.5 centimeters. The little tension over here is 3, obviously 10 0.5 is greater than 3, so therefore we do have correct magnitudes here as well to show a net force downwards in the favor of M3G. Should any of these um, not work the way you want them to work, you would just have to make small adjustments, whether shorter them or, or make them longer. However, be very, very careful. If you touch, for example, T2 here, you're going to have the same exact adjustment to be made here, the same with T1. So usually, if you have to make adjustments, you might want to just make adjustments to the MG forces. And this is it for this Atwood machine, free body diagram and magnitude check. Thank you.